Hi everyone, it's Jeanette Crafty Dork here to do the mixed media for Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters. Now, this is how the picks came. Use white tissue paper, scribble, drop ink from up high, use packet of envelope or pocket or envelopes, use fibres, use a gel pens, draw flowers, Use a neon neo colour or perhaps a strange colour. Use a palette knife and as usual you can swap any two for anything you want. Okay, so I'm going to do in this order, I'm going to do the tissue paper, the um, neo colour, dropping from up high, gesso through a stencil, use a palette knife. Well actually the palette knife I'm using up there as well. Um, for the tissue and I've already done that because that took a while to dry um, draw flowers use pocket or envelope well I've got two envelopes and I'm not sure yet which one use fibers I've got some just some brown fiber use a gel pen and scribble and my stencil I'm going to use is this one I'm going to cheat because I'm going to draw the flowers around those Okay, so let's get started. So I've done this and I just want to do a background colour with the um, Neo colours. Just got to work out what colour to use. Perhaps I just go with my orange, my favourite. Um, might be a bit bright, but there we go. Who, is, who cares? We just get stuck into it, hey? Now let's do that one will be all right. I'm just trying to think I didn't have some water to spritz in it. Let me just put a bit of this. I'll just pop a little bit of water just to just to I've had these for ages so I don't know what they're gonna be like. And I think the last time I used them the kids used them. So that's all right, we'll just I think it's over there. Um, you can see through the colour too. So I just, for the white tissue, I used my um, um, white napkins that were left over. Um, I have got some white tissue paper that I bought, but I thought, well, um, why use that if I've got the, um, the other there? And, you, and most people have got some white left over from when they do their decoupage with the with the napkins. So, um, yeah, so there we go. Okay, so this is the first layer, a uh, second layer, napkin, and then the neo paint. Um, and we'll get stuck on to drying that. You don't want to watch me watch paint dry, do you? So I'll dry it off and I'll be back. Okay, back again. Forgot to say, these are the um, paints that I'm using. Um, I just got them from, I think it was a cheap shop, but, you know, you can get them from cheap shops, art shops. Um, most places um, have them. Now, for the drop the ink from up high, I was going to use, I've got this acrylic um, ink, in um, a little bottle just watered down and just drop a few drops and then I thought I might just tone this down by using the Distress Spray um, and that's that's an ink or stain based I suppose but it's an ink as well where's my other mat just to this is a um, macaron So that's coming from up high. Just to put a bit of um, something different on there. Okay, I shall be back. I'll dry it off. Okay, I'm back again. Now, what I've decided to do 
is I'm going to put this envelope down here, but I don't want it all. I just want part of it. So I'm just going to, and I don't think you can see now because I've gone off screen. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to, let me just cut that off first. I should have cut it off before I, okay. Just going to cut it off at the bottom there. Okay, and the reasoning behind that is the stencil I'm using is one of Donna Downey. Um, Susanna Eastdale gave it to me. Thanks, Susanna. Um, and I thought I would have as perhaps like a table and just pop. Um, pop it like it's and perhaps not go off the edges there so what I'll do is put some washi on that <coughs> I should have had ready just a little bit at the top and it will probably take the colour off but we'll have to be with, deal, deal with that and then I'm just going to pop it down there because I don't want that bit. And down here because I don't want that bit. And then I can pop that bit on the side. Am I in camera? Sort of. Now I might have to just come down a little bit. I don't know why this time I'm not on. Anyway, here we go. Um, a little bit there. Can go right down, is it? I'll have to go on the side a little bit. Okay, so that now, is that going to be? I'll have to watch it. I've got my palette knife and I've got my gesso and I'll just go over that and see what happens sometimes it bleeds through we'll just see it's going to be fairly thick usually I use um, the modeling paste for this but they want gesso the tags were all Hope it doesn't bleed out underneath it. There's probably a trick. But like you all know, I'm no artist and I really appreciate those of you that are letting me know little tricks and things because I really do enjoy doing this and I don't want to give bum steers to people. Um, you know, I just think it's something that's a little bit of fun. And we can all have fun and we can all learn from each other. I learnt from my mum a lot of stuff like you guys probably did and from other friends and so we we can all help each other with um, different ideas and okay so I was going to do this like with a sponge because you could, you know, just dab it on with a sponge. And then I thought, no, I will stick to the the prompts and um, and just see what happens. But I, I am thoroughly enjoying you guys joining in and um, having some fun with us. It's it's a fun little group that we've got running, and Nat is just such a gem. She just is the kindest person and um, love her to pieces and sell some of the things that that lady comes up with hey whoops now obviously I've gone underneath that so it's probably going to be one big heck of a mess when I when I get off so let me just put my gesso away before I put my elbow in that 
and we'll see what we come up with. Well, it's very messy, but I can deal with it. So I will be back. Okay, back again. Now I thought about the fibre and I'm thinking, what can I do? What I'm thinking of is just laying some in strips on the jar. Like, you know how you, you do the um, hessian or whatever it is and you just put bits of hessian onto um, to jars to make them um, a little bit fancy. So we'll see how it goes. It may look absolute rubbish, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. <clears throat> this is just a silicon little spatula that makes life a bit easier when you're playing with glue and you don't want to get your fingers all gunked up. So it's going to be a very... Okay. I'm using the 450 glue just to um, hold it down. And I'm hoping to go where the I'll go back one more row. I'll just go where the um, stencil has gone. If you're watching Susanna, I reckon these little doodlecky things here would make good owl eyes eyebrows too. Those are owls that you I've just finished from your kit. I reckon they would. Okay, now that one will go there. And back again. How fiddly is it? But hopefully it'll all be worth it. Yuck. Okay, it's actually sticking to this, which is not supposed to do. Okay, Let's keep going. Hope for the best. Bugger. Okay. You didn't hear that, did you? I've got enough because I, otherwise I've got to get up and go into the drawer, which is over the other side of the room, and it's um, under a couple of boxes. I thought I'd got enough out to do it. Well, it should be. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just trying to. Actually, I might just nip that little one off. And pop that down there.
Okay, just bear with me. I'll just get the stick off my hand. Okay, here we go again. So next, let's just see what we've got here. Um, I've done the tissue paper. Dropped ink from up, up high. Use the envelope. Gessoed through a stencil. Use the fibres. Um, I haven't drawn the flowers yet. I've got to use the neon and use the palette knife. So I've got to use, draw the flowers, use gel pens and scribble. Now instead of gel pens, I've actually, I've actually got the gel pens out, but I've decided when I was getting the spray from up high, ink from up high, I found these and they're called Smooch. And they've been there for that long. I don't know if they're even going to work. But I'm going to use my smooch there and draw the flowers. So let me make sure I'm going to be in. Yep. So let's pick out some colours. These were years ago. Um, I'm just trying to think whether it was. I think it was some um, Kazaz had them and um, we sort of got them. So what I'm going to do, Nat did it the other day with some little bits. Where is it going to be? Funny looking flowers, aren't they? But there you go. So we'll just do a few... Of the funny looking flowers. I did folk art years ago and a dear friend of my parents he's passed away um, now but he was an amazing um, painter and um, he tried to teach me how to do roses and I sort of got it but it's that long and I think you've got it it's something that you've got to practice now some of these probably lead up to will lead up to a different colour, but I'm not particularly worried about that. I just thought these it's been so long since I used them. And you know, if you don't use them. go yucky but you know they really haven't they've been pretty good now when when Nat did them and who is um Auntie Vera they um they coloured them in as well and highlighted them in white um was sort of in between there they coloured um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave them and um, let them, um, just let them be. I think it's going to be look one great mess, to be quite honest. That um, vase really doesn't do much for me. I think this one might go this way. It's a bit wet. Get that just so off it. Okay, there's another colour. Let's do a yellow. Terrible all the things that you buy and then you just don't get around to using. But when I was demonstrating, you know, because you you had to buy all the products, we did you know, play, the girls that I had in my group, um, we did play with them. But over the years, you sort of forget about them. And I think I might do all of those gold. I 
let me do. And one more colour. What should we put on there? Oh, let's put them. These are really psychedelic. These are the Neo colours, aren't they? That we were supposed to put on before. If you haven't got this, I was just thinking you could use nail polish as something different to put on your page too. Because where it said, you know, use your, um, um, what do you call it? Use, use your neo colours or something, you know, something, what was it? Something strange colour. Um, I know we've all probably got some... Uh, crazy nail polish colours there around the place. Now I've got a green and I'll just do the stems in the green. That will at least make it look like flowers, do you think? Let's see. It's different anyway, isn't it? And that's what we're and it's it's causing me some fun uh, some happy fuzzies to just play. It's that long since I've just had a, a little bit of a play like this. I haven't really felt like getting out and doing much at all of late. But up and up. Well, they're certainly bright, aren't they? Now, this part across here, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but we're going to make it into sort of a, I think it's supposed to be the table. So we'll just, just make it and just put some, Whether they're supposed to be shadows or I don't know. But it's the bottom of the envelope I just sealed up with um, glue. So that's Usually sits on there. Okay, now I've got scribble. Well, I thought that was scribbling, don't you? It's a bit scribbly, scribbly. That might end up under there, like that, or even perhaps in there. Oh, that's not going to fit, but we might stick it there. Okay, now scribbly. What I might do <clears throat> is use my black pens. What is my non? Yeah, that one I think is the is that the one I like? That's a bit bigger. Oh, don't tell me it's run out of it's gonna run out on me. What's this one? It's, nope. Can't see from up there. Let's see. I just want to do some. And I'm probably. I probably can't see. I'll come down this way perhaps. Whoops, I've done it wrong. <laughs> oh, what the heck. I really knocked that one up, didn't I? I'm doing it again. It's 
started off big and ended up small. I just 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 doodling. Whoops. My sister does that um, Zen tangled stuff. Gee, she's good at it, but I haven't got the patience for it. It's got to be over and done with fairly quickly, but for me to. But then we're all just all good at different things, aren't we? But I do love the, what she does. She's out sailing today. Husband bought a, a boat and they, uh, my brother-in-law and his partner are um, sailing as well and they go down the sailing club and, but I don't think I could get myself back into a boat. I used to sail when I was a kid but I don't think I could do it now. I wouldn't be able to jump around as quick as I'd need to. I don't think Peter would either. I think if we were to join the sailing club, we'd need to get a trimer in, which is a big boat that could take heavy people. I think the ones that they've got need fairly light um, crew. Oh, God, where did I start there? <laughs> Going off the page a bit. Well, that's okay, I'm having fun. And I must admit, the um, tissue underneath isn't really helping much. There we go. And what I'm going to do here, I usually write the month over there, but I'm going to do it over this side. And I'm just going to do it as a squiggly... We'll put, perhaps I'll sign it up here. And 2001. There we go. Well, it's different again, you know, um, and I do quite like it. Um, this part here, it's as though, what the heck is it there for, I think. But I can deal with looking at it and thinking, Mm, I perhaps should have done this and did done that, but there you go. There's my March mixed media challenge. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you all will um, join in. Um, the link will be below to the Facebook group, Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters. Come over and join in the fun over there. Um, we have lots of different um, challenges happening through the um, month and we will see you again. So um, until then, happy crafting and bye for now. Just back again to just show you, I decided to go around the edges of both flowers in the black as well and I also just did the centre of the march. Um, I think the flowers look a little bit better they have a bit, a bit more definition so thanks a lot see yous, bye